What's up, everybody? It's me, Link, twitch.tv slash LinkyPoo, captain of Team Veritas, co-admin of the Digital Gaming League, the DGL.com. Make sure to check out discord.thedgl.com for your competitive insurgency needs. Today, I have a classic map overview for you of Farmhouse West, or uh, a.k.a. Beyblades. Um, let them rip. This map is super dictated by grenades. It is one of the heaviest pre-nade maps. You are going to be spending hours and hours on this map learning pre-nades. I will show you a few, but I have not perfected all of them. Okay, There's just so many pre-nades, and I just I play my lane, and I learn pre-nades there. Um, I know a couple other prenates, but yeah, we'll hop into it. So, as with always, we're just going to go over callouts in the beginning. So, here is the security spawn. Security spawns. Security spawns coming out to spawn, running right towards ridge. Here we go. Up towards ridge or Nade Valley. So, as you can see, this is uh, a nade-rich environment. You can find plenty of nades here. Early round, mid round, late round. So this is called Ridge. All right, Ridge leads up into top B. All right. And then we have started calling this spot Crack. So we call this spot Crack. A lot of people look here and look over into Palm Wall. Okay. This right here is Palm Wall, and this is palms all right so oh one in palms he's usually right here this is palm wall or palm arch okay he's on the other side of palm wall he's right here all right sea wall this is sea wall right here looks over into ridge this right here <gasps> is yellow so all right this is yellow yellow can look out over onto top b this is sea wall this is top c this is bottom c and we're gonna I'm gonna go over B last, okay? So we have over here this is arches. I know it's only one arch, but whatever, dude. Arch, arches. This is courtyard. Alright. This right here is courtyard. And then I call this ten wall back here. Ten wall. And then we call this over here. Oh, look at that. Wish you could drive that. This is China. All right, China. Some people come over here and try to snipe from B, and yeah, they get one kill, and then the map is over because they're just out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so this is called Z Stairs. We just call this Z Stairs. This is called Balk right here, Balcony. This right here is called Office. All right, it's more like a bedroom, but... We just call it office. Office. This is B. This is mid stairs. This is kitchen. This is closet. Right, closet. This right here we have started calling cubby. Okay, cubby. This is kitchen stairs. Kitchen stairs. Z stairs. Balk. I think some people call this skinny as well. It's like Balk Skinny Patio, all right? So pick pick your poison. Office, kitchen, closet, palms, that's yellow, top C, C wall, crack, ridge, all right? Top B, courtyard, arches. Lots of callouts there. Not really. Not, not that many callouts. Compared to sub maps, um, but that's that's pretty much. I mean, you could call you you know back C. Um, yellow should have probably more calls, but usually people are just lurking. They're there and it's they're in and out really quick. All right, and then A, you know, you just you know front A, you know bedroom, and then on A balk. All right. Okay, so let's get let's get into it. Common spots. So for security, 
Usually you're gonna have two people play a ridge. All right. Um. In a pu in a public game or a pickup game or a low level scrim, you may be able to get away with running into B. Um. I think top level teams kind of fifty fifty it. Sometimes they'll go for it if they get a good spawn. But if they don't get a good spawn, they, they won't go for it. So if the B player gets a good spawn, he'll try to rush off. Slide here. Boom. Sliding off something launches you, by the way. So he slides off and then tries to get in, duck to the left, and then dodge the nade. Okay. What nade is that? The nade that insurgents throw. Do, 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 do. They'll come here. Throw it up and over. It'll bounce off the top of B. And then blow up right here. Boom. And get the kill. So if you don't have a good spawn, it'll kill you. All right. Some of them blow up um, over the top right here. Some of them blow up on the right. It just depends on where people throw them. And if they've practiced their nades. Okay. If you're playing against people who don't know any pre-nades, this map is really fun. If on security, if you play against people who know pre-nades, this map is not fun. All right. It, it's just extremely hard for the security B player to get on. All right. So one person rushes uh, B Ridge. The other person plays on Ridge, and they basically do a little dance. They dodge all the Ridge nades, either playing on the left, looking for him, looking up, and then trying to kill the top C player or killing the C wall player if he's there. All right. The C insurgent C player is not going to be there all the time. It just depends on who you're playing against. So courtyard. Another position that's played pretty much all the time. And basically what it's going to be is you're going to basically create a pinwheel, right? And you're going to have a bunch of strats. You're going to spin that pinwheel, and then whatever it lands on, you're just going to do it that round. So maybe you're going to nade. Maybe you're going to molly. Maybe you're going to flash. Maybe you're going to smoke. Um, you're just going to – maybe you're going to nade early. Maybe you're going to combo one of those. So you just kind of basically reach into your bag of tools and strat uh, tactics and just pick one of those and do it that round, Okay. So you'll be playing down in Courtyard. Um, insurgents are always going to nade here pretty much early every time. So, Or they're going to nade late, or they're going to do both. So what's going to happen is one time they're going to nade early, and you're going to be like, okay, they don't nade late. And then the next round they're going to nade late, and so forth. So Courtyard can be extremely frustrating, but uh, people play there all the time. Oh, by the way, this is called Rocks. All right? What you'll see here is security will jump up, get onto Rocks, and play up here if they can. Super powerful position, but very vulnerable f to being shot from almost anywhere. Okay, so those three players, uh, um, you have two play ridge. One of them goes to B. One of them plays ridge. You have one down in courtyard. You've got a another player who's usually going to play around the crack area, and they're usually going to decide are they going to play passive or aggressive. So, sometimes they play crack. Sometimes they don't. It just it just depends. Um, Security just have to wait out a lot of nades, and you just have to pay attention to how they're nading. Then you'll have another person, uh, the fifth person, playing in yellow, right? They'll play in yellow. Maybe that fourth, per maybe one will play yellow and one will creep around. That's also a strategy that we've seen. Okay, and that's basically it. What's what's the setup? The setups are all pretty much the same in uh for for each team. Um, at a high level, it's just how they rotate out of those when something happens. So a nade's gonna come and get a kill. What do you do then, right? That's that's the that's the difference, right? Certain teams just certain ways, um, and it's kind of just this this map is really can be really chaotic, okay? For insurgents, so this map is insurgent insurgent sided, Insurg ah, insurgent sided, okay. Uh, basically, that one player who comes out right here and throws the nade, he'll get it to bounce up and over doot, doot, and blow up the guy that's rushing. And then a second person is going to throw a nade late and land on the ridge to kill any stragglers. So with two nades, you basically stop them all from getting on to B. Um, it's spawn dependent. So if you get a bad spawn and if Insurgent gets a bad spawn and Security gets a good spawn, then Security can make it into B. Right, and that's just when you change up your nade. So you say, "Oh, I got a bad spawn." You throw your nade up and over this arch, into Balk. Boom, get the kill there. All right, so la di da. For insurgents, typically what you're gonna have is you're gonna have one person playing around the C area. Maybe he'll go top C and try to duel this ridge player, and 
Then you'll have a second person who will try to play in this yellow wall area, look into office, get a kill. You can push right up to the wall, and you're pretty much covered from everything. Okay? Your third player is usually going to play top B, right? He'll come up to top B, look around. Now, Security Ridge does have advantage on this top B insurgent player. So you got to be kind of cheeky about it. Maybe throw a late nade um, and trying to pick him off. But just be careful. Um, this, map, this map is just nade, nade heavy. You just spend 30 minutes going over what lane, what lane, where you want to play on this map and then spend the next two hours practicing like two nades and then e each one of you, right? So five people practice your nades for two hours and then... You know, you'll go from there. All right. And then you have to check timings. Like, oh, can you – let's start at spawn. Three, two, one, go. Start running. Then you prenade, and then they tell if it's early or late. Okay? So there, that, that's what this map is a lot. Okay? It's a, it's a lot of um, having someone run a route that you want to nade and then getting the timing down and seeing if it's possible. Okay? The fourth person is going to play B. So I'm going to give you a little history lesson here so you don't waste your time. So in Season 1, everybody going to be wanted to rush this lane. Now, I've already kind of hinted at it that everyone nades everywhere. So the problem with running here is you can get a nade out early on security and nade right here and blow this person up. You can actually get a nade almost right here. So right when they come out, they get naded almost bas basically instantly. Okay? So... What people have done is instead of going out there on B, they run up here. So they go here. They run out of spawn. Here's the B player. Now, if he gets a good spawn, maybe he'll run straight for mid B. Maybe he'll run top B, drop down. But usually what people are doing is they run up here. They hop up, crouch jump. You can get on this little ledge. And then you hop up here, and then you get in safely to catch him. Okay? That is usually how the B player will play. You can take your chances, B player, by all means. If their nades are garbage, just just run kitchen stairs for free. If they're going to give that to you, by all means, do it. Your fifth player is usually going to play courtyard, okay? He's going to sit back, watch courtyard. Maybe he'll come out here, all right? And he's just going to be tossing nades, mollies, and smokes, and whatever over this wall right here and trying to get a, a, a nade kill, all right? Sometimes... And I'm giving giving away a little secret here. Sometimes a courtyard player will grab a sniper or an SVD with 4X, come all the way over, and this is why we have this call out. We have this 10 wall here. You can camp right here. And look at what I can see. I can see them running into B. And you can get there very quickly. And it is super hard to counter as a B player, right? It's almost impossible, to be honest. Now, you, you could do it from certain spots. You can you can step on, on top of this hill. The only thing, this hill is nice to play. The only thing about the hill um, is that it's pretty easy to, to get countered um, if, if they call you out, right? So just keep that in mind. This map has been grinded a lot. A lot of people are trying to come up with new ways to do things. So that is the basic setup, all right? So let's kind of dive into it here, all right? So coming out of spawn, do, 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 do. I have a nade. Everyone should have nades, right? Nades are so important in this game. And when I say that, I, I kind of grimace because I'm like, ugh. I love nades. I love how lethal they are. It's great to get kills with nades. But I I don't like how how random and lucky it is, right? Oh cool, you got a double nade. Like what like what did you do to do that? Like you you learned the timing and then you just threw the nade at the perfect time. Yeah, okay, that takes skill, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's kind of lame. I mean, I, I've done it to a lot of people. I, I've learned nades, crazy nades, and, and get, gotten sweet nades. But at the same time, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of breaks the game a little bit because then people can't leave or, or go anywhere. You actually – you security cannot – if the nades are perfect, security can't get on to B. Um, and, and it's rough. 
So, anyways, you come you come here. Oh, I need to build up my momentum again. All right, so the B player comes. He's looking. Comes here. Slides off. Then ducks in. All right? So, that's, that's basically... Um, that's a strategy if you get a good spawn. Um, let's see if I can get up here. So, you can get up here. You see, you kind of have to force yourself uh, up. Come up. Crouch. And then you're up. All right? S the... Second player, he's going to be playing Rage. He can play over here. Um, he can play down below. He can watch for nades, right? Basically, <laughs> I've seen some people. <laughs> I've seen some people just sit back here on Rage. Oh, I just fell off. I've seen some people just sit back here and wait. And then they're like, okay, are the nades done? Okay, let's go. Right? But then, you know, you have late nades and whatnot. All right. So, just basically everything you... The <laughs> everything you're... Everything your eye can see can be naded, right? So you should practice nades for those routes, okay? All right, out. Then this person's going to come down here. Um, like I was saying, they can play crack. Um, maybe they'll go wide to... Whoa, I just got a giant text. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe, they'll, maybe they'll go play crack. Maybe they'll go down over here. And lurk yellow. This is also the route to yellow that most people take. Most people will come here because insurgents can actually get a nade all the way down here. So you'll you'll come here. I know, pretty ridiculous, right? Come down here, and then you'll come up here and play yellow. It takes a long time. All right. And once you get into B, it all depends. Okay. So one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to sit right here. All right, this is a bad spot. Okay. Because yellow can see you. Remember this spot right here that I showed you on Insurgents? Right here? That guy, no one can stop this guy. He can see in here. He can't see much, but he can see into office. So just be just be careful. Oh, that was a, that was a sick crouch jump, finally. All right. Um, you can come up here, look down, up, and over. Just be careful. If you lose courtyard, there might be a guy that goes rocks right here. Okay. So rocks is a nice spot. Be careful about overextending, okay? If you have it, take it. Just be careful, all right? So palm wall, you know, you got to be careful over here. This guy that's sitting right there. So on security, if you get into B, just, I'm in B, I'm safe. Just slow down, everybody. That's what you need to tell everyone. I'm in B, I'm safe, slow down. And then now the game is on, all right? Once you get into, once security gets into B, then you have, you know, it's a decent map, all right? But until security gets into B, it's kind of just kind of, you know, it's, it's a little lame. It's super hard for security. I mean, I've seen I've seen two eight halves and then coming back to win or coming back into overtime. It's absolutely ridiculous. All right. And that is um, what I said about the B player. The yellow player is just kind of w looking for top B. Um, he can look palm wall. He just needs to be careful, right? When he comes here, change it up. I don't think you can actually see from here. There you go. Watching for that player and then going from there. All right. And then you've got that fifth player who is a crack player. He can, he can play crack. He could run up the street. He could just, he could do whatever. He just needs to, you have to be really, um, you have to change it up quite a bit. On this map, and you have to just use a lot of nades. And then for here, I'll switch sides in a second. But it's 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 really simple. You just come over here, cook your nade, throw it right around the corner, and then it's basically gonna get all the way back there. There you go. Easy peasy, blows up nade, kills them as they rush. All right, they'll try and get right here, and then they'll all blow up. Oh, and then for the jump, that's that's kind of security, all right. And then you can jump up here. See how I crouch jump, crouch jump up, jump in. Now you're fine. Come there. All right. And now you're into B. If you're if you're in. So uh, an important note, no, no. If you get on B and no one is there, you should push. Well, not always. But, but a lot of times, if you get on B, you should push in to enemy territory, right? So you can hold better angles, okay? Um, if, you, if you sit back 
and you see this all the time. If you sit back, th and he, then you're going to let him let the enemy get on, which you lost all your advantage. Excuse me. You lost all your advantage. So let's switch it up. Let's go to Insurgents. We'll take uh, what are we doing here? Two uh, X Cobra. All right, cool. Do I have head bob on? No. Okay. Weird. Okay. So you're crossing. You're crossing. You come back here. You look towards ridge. <coughs> so, head bob is actually um for those that don't know. Head bob is in the game settings, and your camera moves up and down. All right, you can un you want to uncheck that. Okay. Also, you can uh, where is it? I should probably turn this on. So, anywho, you can come up to come up to top C, play here, look for this ridge player, and you're kind of just just dueling them out. All right. Um, and then you could also run through the bottom of C, come up to yellow wall, and then look look for the kill. Right. Just looking for that pick. And then playing playing palm wall, you're just looking into the objective, looking for the pick, for the cross. And then for top B, if you're playing there, you just look up, kind of head glitch it a little bit look for the pick all right for the B player I've already said safest route is the same way I just came out of spawn you come up come here jump over and you're in okay for the courtyard player what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and just kind of sit you can sit back you can come over here and then you're gonna nade now you can, all you gotta do is change up your nades. Try to get the try to get the drop on them. So let's go over. Now I, I'm I'm not. I don't claim to be the best nader. I don't really do my due diligence that much with nading. Okay, so let me just switch it up. And of course, after I made that class, there we go. So what I'll do is I just want to show you this nade. And you're not really gonna be able to see because I don't have fly mode on it, or I don't. It's not a thing, right? So you you pull here. Come here, throw back, and I think now that's too slow. Yeah, it has to be like pixel perfect. I think you pull from back here, pull, throw up and over. Let's see. Ah, uh, that was better. So you see, you see how long it takes to practice that. That bounced on on top and exploded up top. So that's not perfect. So I I don't usually throw this nade all the time, but that's how you get that nade. To kind of bounce off and kill the early rusher. All right. So on this map, a lot of time spent messing around with nades, and you really need someone to spectate and help you. Like, okay, that land, that made it, that made it, and then you need to do timing tests. So one person security spawn, one person insurgent spawn. All right, three, two, one, go, and then you'll go, pull the pen, and then that that person will get the early nade. You need to throw it very quickly. I'm not sure if you could. I haven't really messed around with it. Oh, I just hit the edge. Go bounce up top. Yeah, see though that 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 bounced down below. It's easy to nade the ridge. That's that's a pretty easy nade to throw. What I found with people throwing nades is um their angle is all messed up kind of sometimes. And I don't know why. Let's see here. Um when I throw my nades, I've been throwing nades in insurgency for a long time. It is different. Then insurgency sandstorm, or insurgency source, excuse me. But um, pay attention to where your B marker is. Some people leave the compass on. Let me uh, let me see if I can show this. Um, always show compass. All right. So some people leave the compass on and they line up um, with the compass. All right. So my compass is always on. Some people like that. I don't like that. It's it's just like in my face too much. So what, what I'll do is, right, and then you'll throw the nade, but just line up your B marker. I think right here is a good height, but I'll aim it a little bit higher. I just go off of feeling. But you can see I'm aiming I'm aiming pretty high up, 
right? And I think what, what people do is they aim way too low. All right, like this this is going nowhere. Like, look at that. Nowhere. Okay, so you gotta aim a lot higher than you think you do. All right, I'm just looking in the sky right here. Now, if you come here, you know, nade back, that's gonna go all the way back ridge, I believe. Or not back ridge, I think it landed on something. Oh, I hit the, it was too sharp of an angle. But there you go. He landed here. You can get it back to here very easily. You just got to learn the angling, right? I was angling too far to the left. What you want to do is angle to the right, and you can get a nade all the way back here. All right? I'm even starting to see public players do this, and it drives me crazy because in public, I just want to run around and slay everyone. But, man, those public players, they're getting good. They really are. So hats off to them. Oh. And, yeah, I think it's it's all about practicing your nades. Let me show you Unamas. So this one, this one's pretty easy as well. You just come up as an insurgent player. And really, just you just throw it down the, just throw it down the road. You can actually, you can get it fairly far, fairly early. So you can see. You can get that nade all the way down there. I, I think that might be a little late, but you can probably get it to blow up like right here uh, with practice. So, yeah, this is why um, this is why I want to limit nades. I think that you should only have two nades on each side. Um, I think there should be a grenadier class, and that grenadier class is limited to two people, and only that class has two nades. And then I think you, what you do is you remove... The foul SVD and Mark 14 from the Grenadier, and you keep the foul Mark 14 SVD on the Assaulter, and then now you've kind of solved the B the battle rifle problem as well um, in one fell swoop. And it should be easy with the theater config files. We could probably do it ourselves if we could if we had the theater config files, but we don't yet. So, but but I would like I would like to actually be in the, in the official in the official competitive. It solves a lot of problems. Uh, at, at the higher level, I mean, grenades aren't really a problem at the lower mid mid level, but going into higher level, people just start practicing grenades so much, and it just dictates the game, and it's just kind of RNG whether you die or not. Is he gonna nade early? Is he gonna nade late? I'm gonna push regardless, and hopefully I get lucky with it, and then you get lucky and you're fine. Which isn't which isn't really skill based, I don't think. But anywho, farmhouse west. Those are the common lanes, common places you could play. Um, I showed you how to get on to be on security. I showed you how to get on to be on uh, insurgents. Um, it's really about waiting out the nades and just kind of getting lucky a little bit. One thing, one thing I, I will show you is. So something that some of the higher teams have started doing. Oops, I'm not going to be able to do this. So probably I'm probably going to change. I'm going to change the game right now. So this is kind of a pro tip. So one one thing that people have started doing right now is because there's so many nades happening on Ridge. What will happen is. They'll play. They'll play two courtyard, and then someone's gonna swing a after the round the round happens. Or two people are gonna. The B player is gonna play courtyard, and what he's gonna do is he's gonna come here. They'll throw the smoke off the side, right? Smoke goes there, and then a nade a nade will come out. He'll wait a second, and then this B player is gonna push up to Z stairs and dodge the nade. Boom! He gets in. Now he's in. Okay. This is a strategy that is a little more coordinated. Now you can see this is kind of higher level stuff, right? We're using two players to accomplish a goal. All right. Now I'm going to ask if I'm the B player, I go, hey, are they needing courtyard fast? No, they're not needing courtyard fast. Then I'm going to go, okay, courtyard player. I want you to smoke for me. I'm the B player. He's going to throw the smoke. I'm not going to stop for anything. Okay. He's going to throw the smoke and then it's going to come out. And then I'm going to go to B safely. Okay? So this is this is the other route to get to B. It's not perfect. <laughs> I mean, 
the problem is is courtyard they nade all the time too so it's really it's it's really lucky if you get on to be on security it really is yeah so one thing that I would love um, on this map is to put a, a mine shaft here that zigzags so I would zigzag it I would like L turn it twice so it's like um, what does that mean um, it basically means that it goes oh I can't show you uh, is there a wall here basically it goes here and then it goes out and then it goes here and then it goes like that and then it comes back down okay terrible drawing I'm drawing in the sand for you um, but the basic point is it comes here and then it goes down again right and I would I would put this in this mountain right here and that way you can't it's you can't spawn camp because if you if you make it a straight shot you spawn camp um, um, but I don't want the timing to be too fast either right so if you make it a zigzag you can make the timing actually be okay here and then they could get into B or make it even up here up here would be even nice jeez just be nice it just be nice to get on so anyways my name is link you can follow me on twitch.tv slash linky poo make sure to check out the digital gaming league the dgl discord.thedgl.com thanks so much for watching practice your nades on this map this map is all about grenades okay so most maps are about the grenades but this map is highly dictated by your nades especially on insurgents and I would say a good half on security is winning two or three rounds. So if you're on security, I would win two or three rounds. Oh, also, we play best of 20s in scrims and matches and pugs. So yeah, there are 10-round halves. So I think a 2-8 half or a 3-7 half on security is pretty decent. Um, any more than three rounds on security is absolutely amazing. If you win four rounds on security, you're doing great. Okay? So... And if you're winning five rounds, then you're, you, the insurgent players are not grenading properly. So, um, anyways, take care so much, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.